What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So check this out. Data logging is actually very easy and very convenient with this new website that Derek Robinson started giving us at imwtune.com. He pretty much sends you instructions on what you need to do. So attach your starter file. I ask that we start with pump gas first, then we move on to ethanol mixes later. If we're tuning in on multiple fuels, please upload it and record the following logs and save them individually labeled accordingly. Please, one, cold start, idling to fully warm. Two, stop and go driving, 15 minutes. Three, cruising at speed, 15 minutes. Four, a single wide open throttle at a flat section, starting at 2000 RPM and revving to redline and third gear. I ask that we perform every wide open throttle run from here on out in the exact same spot, going the exact same direction for logging. Please perform this log last. I thought it would have been a good idea to leave a gallon of 85, but um, I got that answered. <laughs> Yeah, I don't do that. I need to tune for the worst case scenario, which will be straight 91 octane with no extra fuel. Let's do it again. Run wherever you're having to tank down, please. This video is just gonna be showing you how to do it and how easy it is. So just in case you guys feel intimidated, don't. And I am using my old windows, my dinosaur laptop. So let's get started. Once you have the file, you're gonna wanna e-tune, revision two. Wait for that to open up. This tune is partially locked and editing from tuning maps. Yep, that's fine. Hit okay. So this is how it's obviously gonna look. But I always like the Sable rev hang because I like driving with rev hang off. And my K-Tuner is connected. You know it's connected by it saying logging and it's connected. So right here, upload base code, warning, make sure this is all Going good and we're gonna put it in five but we're gonna put it in two on number five and once that's done it's gonna be in the flash pro and we start data logging all right so then from here okay tuner flash revision two only because i didn't really film the first revision and it was dark too so it would have been a pretty bad video <laughs> plus i kind of had to redo it because in my first revision or i guess you can see in the first tune derek rob sent me i still had like a gallon of 85 in the car to help me with knock control but once I told him that, he said, we got to pretty much do everything again, empty out the tank and make sure you fill only up with 91. Hit okay, key off, key back on. In this part right here, you have to data log the cold start. So to data log, very easy. Hit right here, start log, right on top. And you see how you see that red dot on the top right? That means it's logging. So let's go ahead and turn on the car because he needs a cold start data log. Notice how it's still logging. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit here for about, I don't know, five, six minutes until it like warms up. That should pretty much be good. I've been sitting in here for about five, six minutes. RPMs haven't shot up or gone lower. So here, right here, stop log. And that's it. Remember, this is gonna be session one. And I'm telling you that, that way, when we put the data logs into the computer, you'll see why. So every time you data log something, it's gonna be called session one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, et cetera. So right now, the cold start is session one. Remember that. Next, we gotta go drive around the city for about 15 minutes and stop and go traffic. And then after that, we got a cruise for about 15 minutes. I'm going to assume on the highway. And then when we're done, we're going to go ahead and do one wide open throttle pull in third gear at 2000 RPMs all the way to red line. It's funny because like I said in the, like, check it out. Data logging, we're just driving around town for about 15 minutes. So it's funny, like I mentioned earlier, I had this revision done, but when I filled up my gas tank, I filled it up on E30. So then I had to run that gas tank out once I read that I needed to be on pump gas. And then once I did that, I had maybe about a quarter left, left uh, definitely a lot less than a quarter, I had maybe about a gallon left. And when I filled that up with 91, I still had about 12 or 13% ethanol, which is 
technically a one gallon of E per fill up and then filling it up with 91. I told Derek that and he goes, nah, dude, you need to be straight on 91. So I'm like, okay. So I rolled this one down to about five miles. Then I filled it up with 91. So I should be good now. <laughs> Just sucks because I had this revision done about a week ago. And all day yesterday, I drove around. Like I went down to Canaan Road. Then from there, I went down to PCH. Like I, I used up half a tank on these cars. And if you guys know the 10th gen, they get good highway mileage. I was getting like 35 MPG and I'm just like, yo, the day I wanna run my gas out is the day I'm getting really good MPG. <laughs> oh well, but yeah, I set up a timer on my phone and we're pretty much gonna be driving around town. So we're chilling. All right, so we've pretty much been driving for about 15 minutes in stop and go traffic. It's still data logging, so. I'm pretty much good right there. Next, it's going to be driving at a cruising state pretty much at like 15 minutes. So right here at the red light, I'm gonna hit the stop data logging and I'm gonna start it again. And I just started my timer, so. One thing that he recommends is for when you guys are doing your e-tunes, pick a route. Consistently use that route every time you use your e-tune. That way you get the same results. So I'm going to be using this route the entire time when I am e-tuning and I'm just going to be cruising it right now. I did time it so I think I'm going to hit the end of this highway in about maybe seven or eight minutes. I'm just going to do a U-turn and double back. All right, well, I already started the log. I need to beat this car there. Hopefully no one pulls up right next to me thinking that I'm trying to race them. But he said, hold on, what's up, Infinity? Oh, 2,000, 2000 RPMs in third gear. All right. One, two, three. and I'm gonna show you how to do the next step. All right, bringing it back home. To make things easier, I pretty much made a file called eTunes. These are my revisions. So when you need to look at your data logs, you have everything connected. You're gonna go right here and it says onboard logging. Session one, two, three, and four. Remember when I told you earlier in the video that the CoStar was gonna be session one? Notice how that's also the smallest size. So that's the cold start right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click session one, download, bottom left hand side, you're going to see download 0% and it's going to go up all, all the way to 100%. Keep in mind that session one, because it is the smallest size, it's going to download the fastest. Everything else is going to download a little bit slower. While you're on here, go to main, hit rename me. And it's gonna appear all right here once it hits 100%. So right now it's at 90%. Let me move this down a little bit. Logging, okay, so you guys saw how it just appeared right there. This is the cold start that I, re that I data logged. So let's minimize that. And this tells them for how long. So as you can see, I recorded for about maybe five minutes. So that's the cold start. All right, then here, we're gonna go to tuning, save data log. It's under random data log. Nope, I'm gonna call that cold start. And I have it so it's gonna save automatically in my eTune file, save. Now it's right there. 
So basically from here, and this is the cool thing about Derek Robinson's uh, tuning. He gives you a website. Now it's not just giving you tunes back and forth through email. He gives you a password, gives you a website, and you go on here and you pretty much download the revision, upload any data logs, and leave any comments right here. It's really, really nice and convenient. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my other ones and I'll come back to you guys in a bit. All right, that's the last one, session four. Well, technically session four would be the fastest because that was my, save data log, wide open throttle pull, wide, open throttle 2k pull save all right now i have everything here i'm gonna move this up one more uh, hold on hold on hold on hold on there you go all right now let's go ahead and go to the website upload data log and we are going to be putting these three in one two three open There it is. So my city cruise, cold start, highway driving and wide open throttle too. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and leave a comment and let them know I did it right. <laughs> I had a comment, I pretty much said, hey Derek, I emptied out the tank until I had about eight miles left and filled up with 91 octane. And that is it. In a few days, today is Thursday. So if I'm lucky, I might get something tomorrow. If, if not, I'm gonna have to wait till Monday. So. That's pretty much how you data log. Ending it right here, guys. So to say how long it's exactly gonna take you, I don't know. It can be something as five revisions to seven revisions. I've seen somebody do up to 17 revisions on it. So it just depends, you know, if on how quick he can respond to your emails and how quick you can do from your part by data logging and following directions accordingly. Me, on the other hand, I'm like I mentioned earlier, I was probably like about a week behind, but I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> if you pay for priority, which I can't remember how much more it was, you get a response one to three days after you send an email. But if you don't, it's about three to five days. So mm, we just play the waiting game. Um, I'm not going to be filming the r other revisions unless you really want me to, depending on how this video does. Uh, but this was just to show you how easy it is to data log if you were unsure. I will be straight up with you guys. I don't know how much difference it is from Honda because I know you can also data log with Honda. I've never done it with Honda. This is my first time doing it with a K-Tuner. And keep in mind, if you do have the V1, I am almost certain that you need your laptop while you are doing the data log. It is a lot easier with the V2 because it's a whole portable tablet basically. And it has everything that I need without the laptop, if that makes sense. So if you have a V1 and you data logged with it, just put it down right there and let me know how you do it. I'm pretty sure you need a laptop for it. I, I, again, I could be wrong, or there might be a different way you can do it Bluetooth wise and you, and you can start data logging with that. I, I'm not sure, but I'm just, letting you know this was with the k-tuner v2 only wanted to do this video that way you guys can see hey tony's finally getting a custom tune and to show you that it wasn't really that hard just follow directions and when you're doing it and you are doing flex view tune make sure you're on 91 or 93 depending on where you're at empty it out completely that way you don't do the mistake that i did and now you have to wait a whole other uh gas tank to empty out so that you can properly tune it once i start putting e85 into the car then I'll go ahead and start doing another vlog with the uh, e-tuning services. If I figured it out, I'm sure you can figure it out as well. But also keep in mind, I am not a tuner. I am simply following directions of what they're telling me to do. So if you ask me questions about should you do this, should you do that? I'm going to tell you to ask your tuner. That way you have a better answer. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in another video. You guys have a good day. Peace.